And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. And this hope will not lead to disappointment in LT, for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. You want to get full of love? Spend time with the Holy Spirit. It doesn't say read your Bible. You don't get love from reading your Bible. I'm sorry, I'm just speed. It says knowledge puffs up. It says you'll get love by being in the presence of Holy Spirit. Being in a place of worshiping the Lord. But shame will keep us from being in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Shame blocks that. Shame is a voice, the devil's voice, telling you that you are your sin. Trying to put a false identity on you to make you believe that you are your sin. And belief systems are very important. I'm going to cover that next week. But how you believe and see yourself is going to affect your relationship with God. How you see him is going to affect how your relationship with God. And if you feel like you can never get into a place of intimacy with Holy Spirit, you're not going to be able to get filled with love. And you're going to do things to kind of bypass that. You're going to sit in church feeling condemned and ashamed and you're going to be out of his presence and you're not going to feel that love. Mm -hmm. Exactly what the devil wants. He doesn't want you to feel the love of God. He doesn't want you to be filled with the love of God. He doesn't want you to be in intimacy with the Holy Spirit because if you are, you're going to become more like him. And the devil doesn't want that. Instead, he wants to keep you in the identity of your sin. That way, there is no transformation. That way, there's no progress. And that's why you're staying stuck. I know I'm talking to people tonight. And that's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that's telling me to say this stuff. He wants us to be under a false identity. Every day, we have to fight against that false identity. I have to fight against that false identity. Mm -hmm. But the moment we get into the presence of the Holy Spirit, there's transformation. We need to fall in love with Jesus. Because when we do, all idolatry leaves our hearts. The fear of the Lord makes us clean. But the love of God will keep us coming back for more. Coming back into his presence, coming to the table of God. 